Ty, Derek has said that he would like to finish this in the first round. That's when he feels like he needs to get it done. Do you feel the same way that you want to get this done early so you can just uh, step up there on the cage and do your shoey? <clears throat> uh, I don't mind the, uh, the early finish, but, you know, uh, this training camp, like all training camps, I'm ready to go three rounds. So once we get in there, we'll, we'll suss it out. But... Yeah, we're ready to bang on, so <laughs> it's going to be fun. The last time you stepped into the octagon, there's so much excitement because there's the anticipation of the shoey. And I have to ask, is there any time that you have seen a shoe and you've said, hell no, I'm not, do I'm not doing that shoey? <laughs> the dirtier, the more exciting, I reckon. So <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Bam. But you talk about the dirty to shoot it better, but you're, you're inventing something called the shoey vasa. So why make it so clean and proper and almost prissy? You, you've become a little bit pristine in your older years, as I've noticed in the last couple of days. <laughs> well, you've got to make it for the people who don't want to do the dirty shoey, you know what I mean? And just get amongst that. Ty. <laughs> Ty, fighting Derek Lewis is a fun fight, but it's also the most important fight of your career to this point. You go out there and you beat Derek Lewis, you become a true contender. He's eating Nutella, guys. He's eating Nutella with the little sticks. If you have children, you know that's what he's eating, right? That's what he's eating. <laughs> Big boy meal right there. Uh, what is this? Look at that. There it is. I told you. If, you got, if you're a big boy like me and Ty, I know exactly what that stick looks like. Um, Ty, what does this fight do for you, though? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a massive fight. Like, you know, a good win on the weekend gets me in the, in the big conversations up there with the big boys. So I'm ready. Uh, you know, I'm ready, I'm ready for the fight on Saturday, and I'm pumped. And I'm excited. I reckon I'll come away with the win. Ty, you did another camp in Dubai for this one. Obviously got great results last time out. What is it about having your camp there that, that allows you to, to, to fight better, I guess? You know, is, does that allow you to bring differences into the octagon other than the obvious, you know, fewer COVID restrictions over there? I, uh, <clears throat> obviously, the, there's fewer COVID restrictions, but I've got a really good team around me in Dubai. Um, you know, uh, all good vibes. We're all focused on the same thing. And there's a, there's a lot less distractions mm. <laughs> in Dubai, that's for sure, than being at home. Uh, you know, we talk a lot about the shoey, sometimes too much, I think. But I got to ask another question about the shoey. We're in Houston. Well, this is Derek Lewis's backyard. Could this be the only time, you think, where you hop on the cage if you get the win and people don't go crazy, don't cheer the shoey? Are you prepared for a potential booing of the shoey, which would be an absolute travesty, by the way? No, no, Laura. It's a shoey, not a booey. It doesn't happen. <laughs> What's up, Ty? You know, I, I'm kind of going back to what, what Laura had asked you about in training in Dubai, and I noticed that you, you've spent time in the gym training alongside Gokan Saki. I just want to know what that's like, because you're a striker in your own right. What's it like being in the gym with a guy like Gokan Saki, who's such a legend in kickboxing? Yeah, like you said, he's a legend, um, and yes. he kicked my ass a lot of times, so <laughs> always good to, uh, <laughs> you know, and, and he brings a lot to the table. He teaches me a lot along the way. So having Gokan has been been awesome. Uh, there's a really good other kickboxers there as well that they're all just um, down to teach and that. So I'm still learning and always learning in this. So it's been awesome. All right, Bam, have you, you have a new product based around the, sh the shoey. Is that right? Can you tell us about that a little bit? It's that shoey vasa. I just told you. I want to hear it from him, champ. <laughs> I want to hear it from him. I want to let him pimp it a little bit. Mid-fight. <laughs> <laughs> Let the man The Shui Vasa. Okay, go ahead. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a device, the shape of a shoe. It's like a beer bong. But for guys who don't want to do the shoe, dirty shoe, I've, uh, I gave you one. So you so don't miss out, you know what I mean? It's going to all be a part of the party. It'll be a, a tie. 
Dan Helley needs the shoe Ivasa because he is so bougie. He would never drink out of a shoe. That's why he's like, have you ever turned away from one? Have you ever turned no. away? He's so bougie. <laughs> hey, how about he this? The shoe how bougie is this, Ty? We're gonna we're gonna take a look at one of your shoeies and then we're gonna come back with our own shoey. But can you kind of walk us through the process in terms of what makes it a perfect shoey? <laughs> well, I did it. Well, the crowd is one. When the crowd's going off, that's right. a good start. Okay. <laughs> I love that. See the lift up. The lift up is just, uh, this one. That was bad. Okay. I so thought the, I went blind. The, the, the lift up <laughs> is very important. So we all have our shoes here, Ty, and you're going to be the he, judge. Can he see us? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he has all right. All right. There. He, he, he can see us, so we're going to go oh, one, one at a time. time. Okay. We're going to start with Michael Chiesa, and you're going to judge with us, all right? You are, you, you're it. All right, Michael, go, go ahead. Go on, Chiesa. You know, I, I know you got it in you. Yeah, you I know, know you got it in you. <laughs> you know, Ty. Look, dude, I, I, asked if somebody, I asked if I could have somebody spit in my shoe, but it was definitely frowned upon amongst my staff, so I'll just do it myself. Go on. <laughs> go on. Disgusting. Why? Yeah, boy. See you later. Oh, All right, um, you spilled a lot, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it came out the um, the foam of the shoe. I think that's all right. Though. Okay, so yeah, that, was, so that was that was solid. You had to wear half of it. I don't feel it. like you. Yeah you, yeah, you drank a lot of that. All right, here's mine. A leather band. Hey, time. This guy's there name no is Dan yet. Helly. He's nervous. He just hey, he just hey, that was nervous. Nervous. His that was name is Dan spit. Helly. Don't nervous. pick Helly. We're not. Nervous, when you're that nervous, you can't give me. He didn't actually spit. Oh, oh, look at that. See, oh, it comes out the God. sides. Oh. It comes out the sides. <laughs> oh. Shame. <laughs> Laura, all right, Sanko, you're up. Yes. That's oh, right. Yeah. That's disgusting. That was a real spit. It was. That was a spit. Yes, oh, Sanko. Oh, Half the beer is still in your bottle. Sink it, Sanko. Sink it. Oh. Well, she stood up. <laughs> See, she was smart. She only did half the beer. That's smart, right, no. Ty? Oh. So, I'm so wearing half of it. it RJ, RJ comes up. My turn. Come on, you root and toot <laughs> son of a gun. Everyone's getting amongst it. Everyone's I'm getting amongst it. So I'm going to put the full beer in here. That's what I do. Like a winner. You know like what? I yeah. weigh half as much as you guys do. Of course you we count. do that. Yeah. No excuses, Sanko. This is oh, a no excuses. Oh, RJ's coming out hot. Hot. And I didn't spill any it's either. That's pretty hot. good. Okay. I didn't spill any. Nice and warm. Just how I like okay. it. So you want to frown upon how I spilt my okay. beer? Let's see it, Cormier. All right, champ. You ready? You ready for the champ? Hey. All right. They say, if you spill it, if you spill it, hey, that's Ty, it. Ty, just relax. It's on. <laughs> Ty, just relax. Oh, oh, my God. God. That was, no, that was, that was worse that. than anybody's. No. Ty, you saw the lift up? I wasn't oh, afraid to get dirty. OK, Ty. What are you doing, man? Yeah, it's really, really bad. <laughs> Ty, I, I need you to pick a winner, and I'm assuming that it can't possibly be hey, Daniel Cormier. It's not. It, he's going to pick his boy. Sanko, Sanko, yeah. one. Stood up and all. Sanko, one. My man, my guy. You know, this is, hey, Ty, I just, want to, drop I just want to show you one thing, Ty. Yeah. Listen. This is how much beer is left. Half of beer is left. Oh, I didn't see no, that. No, Ty, Ty, oh, Ty. 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 Hey, I've earned Ty. my Ty. Does that change your Ty. Ty. No. Ty. Does that change your opinion? Half of his is on the floor, Ty. Ty. remember who was with you at the beginning the of the pandemic. Hey, Ty. I weigh 119 pounds. I just guzzled. Hey, Ty, more already than know, Ty already knows I can party, right, buddy? Pick a winner, Ty. <laughs> I wore the shoe first just to make it feel realistic. You guys are new ones. Come on, come on, Ty. 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 Because, because Sanka tried to put hide it away, Kiesa wins. Oh! <laughs> oh! You are dead to me! This I'm is in. what I love. This is what we love about. about Ty to Ivasa. I got to pick he's somebody to spin on. the wheel. He's eating Nutella. Oh, thank you. Ty, hey. thank you so much. Picking a champ. And I, I love that My you man. adjusted on the fly when we showed you that Sanko is the second biggest cheater hey, on this how's show. How's this feel? Right behind <laughs> Daniel Cormier. Oh, buddy. Hey, good luck <laughs> to you, buddy. Thank you for having me. <laughs>